The heartbeat of any football team is its midfield. Strong characters, creative minds, connectors between defence and attack. They're iconic, uncompromising, elegant, and some of them still captivate the league today. Without a doubt, Lothar Matthäus is one of the greatest ever Bundesliga players. To this day, he's the only German to win World Player of the Year. Germany's most capped player made 464 appearances for Mönchengladbach and Bayern. He got 121 goals across 17 seasons, scoring in every single campaign. The 1990 World Cup winner claimed seven Bundesliga titles. Lothar Matthäus, a number 10 for the ages. Another iconic number 10 is Gunter Netzer, who also shared many of the traits of Matthäus. Netzer was considered a rebel on the ball, a midfield strategist who drove opponents to despair with his defence-splitting passes, and his coaches in equal measure. He ushered in a golden era for Borussia Mönchengladbach and won the first two championships with the Bulls in 1970 and 71, before leaving to join Real Madrid. Paul Breitner also followed that path. The native Bavarian probably wouldn't have expected this development in 1970 at the age of 18, when he moved from the Bavarian village of Freilassing to the Munich side. At the end of his career, the man with the magnificent head of hair had won five German league titles, a style icon of his generation with a penchant for penalties. He scored a third of his 93 Bundesliga goals from the spot. For Kevin De Bruyne, the Bundesliga was also a springboard to world stardom. Playing for Werder Bremen and Wolfsburg, the Belgian was involved in 60 goals across 85 games. In 2014-15, things went particularly well for De Bruyne, who was already technically brilliant at the time. He finished a runner-up with Wolfsburg and was named Footballer of the Year in Germany. Although it doesn't always look like it, Thomas Müller knows exactly how to move and makes his opponents dizzy. A look at Müller's statistics also makes for dizzying reading. The 33-year-old won 317 of his Bundesliga games to date and has set up a total of 165 goals, more than any other current Bundesliga player. He's been champion in 12 of his 15 seasons and he's well on his way to replacing Sepp Meyer as Bayer's record player. And it had to be Thomas Müller! And while we're in the middle of crunching the numbers, this man had 23,513 touches in his Bundesliga career. Bastian Schweinsteiger's commitment to Bayern, always 100%. Schweini never avoided a challenge, contested 7,399 duels and won more than half of them. His passing rate was also well above average for a midfielder. Often he could only be stopped by fouls. The 2014 world champion was a defining figure for his generation. Just like Marco Reus, even though he's yet to win any major titles. A seven-time runner-up with Dortmund is his only Bundesliga record. But no one denies his importance for his teams. On the contrary, with 150 goals in 365 Bundesliga games, Royce is one of the most prolific midfielders of all time and has scored against 24 different teams. 116 assists are mainly thanks to the strikers with whom he's wreaked havoc on Bundesliga defences. Franck Ribéry also had head spinning with French flair. No other Frenchman scored more Bundesliga goals than Ribéry, 86 in all. His nine Bundesliga titles still endure, as well as winning the historic 2013 treble. Franck Ribéry did everything for his team. 125 assists were proof of that. Ribéry was at his best playing alongside Arjen Robben. The Dutchman completes the best winger duo in the league. Both scored in their last game for Bayern, and who was surprised by that? After all, Robin seemed to be synonymous with effectiveness. 
On average, he scored every 141 minutes in his Bundesliga career, a historic record for a midfielder. 99 goals make him the most successful Dutchman in Bundesliga history. Mikael Balak knows a thing or two about success. In his very first season in the Bundesliga, he sensationally became a champion. With Kaiserslautern, he made it through from the second division to the Meisterschale. After that, he experienced all of the drama of football. With Leverkusen, he was unfortunate enough to be a runner-up in 2000. And in 2002, he was even runner-up for the treble, before his move to Bayern brought him three Bundesliga titles, in which he played a decisive role, not only as a player, but as a goalscorer. Anyone who messed with Stefan Effenberg didn't come off lightly. The Tigers saw 114 yellow cards in his 370 Bundesliga games, more than any other player. In the 1997-98 season alone, he collected 15 cards, and he could afford to because none of his clubs wanted to do without him. On average, he was involved in a goal every third game. Uncompromising and indispensable, the midfield legends of the Bundesliga.